Hey guys, and welcome back to Conquest of Elysium 4 with me, Time and Tactics. Let's um, go down and check out this uh, home base. Is it a home base? Probably not a home base, but it's one of the major locations for the High Priestess. And that's because, how much gold is there? 12? More than that, maybe 15 and 3 iron. That's going to be a big blow if they lose that. Right now, we're making more than uh, than she is. And they only have, how many units here? 11 of these Balite Archers. They're level 3 in experience, so that's pretty good, but they're not going to be able to do too much against us. Outside, we have our newest leader, Bone Eater, here, and he has two units with him. He's back here. He's pretty good. Spectral Lance. I don't think I want to attack with them by themselves, though. They're going to die, probably, and I want to keep them around for a little while longer. Instead, we should probably go here, Bonif is over here. We have used our movement points. There's a hero. This is a hero, right? Yeah. Grave Screech here. He's a hero, an ancestral hero. But he can only have miscellaneous items. I think we talked about that last time. He does a lot of damage, though. So I think everybody here is in good shape. I'm going to send him over to that spot in the mountains. Let's go ahead and select everybody here. So Bonif's going to be in command. And I can't really give anything to that hero. We have our... Well, our barbarian leader, Gout, over here. Well, Stonebone Amulet, we could get that to our hero over there, or our leader, that we could do that, and fire resistance as well, but I think I'd rather keep that with Gout. Although, this might be a better unit. I don't know, he's manageable, though. Yeah, it all depends, right? We'll leave it like that. So, Bonif, next turn, let's move over there with you. Bone Eater is done, so we can't do anything with him. And Herman is up here at the deserted port. We have 18 units. There is a wall. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep the units that were there from um, before, the swordsmen. And instead, we're going to see if we can get a few more, um, I guess, of the lancers. What do we have right now? Herman, three lancers and five barbarian cavalries. Let's go ahead. 92. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I don't want to get that. Let me see. Kumlok is over here. Kumlok is that other ancestral chief. He's riding around with other units. Although if he rides with um, ancestral units or ancestral cav, they're going to be super fast. They're not slowed down very much by mountains or cold. But there is a pretty big unit here. I think I'm going to merge them here anyway. We'll take Bone Eater, send him up there later. Kumlok, in the meantime, we can go down to the mountains. It's expensive, but I think I'm going to go down here anyway. There, that's one movement left. We could attack here. So, uh, two bears and six deers. That's not six deer. That shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. Do we need to take that? Yeah, maybe. That way we can go ahead and get the forests here. Let's go ahead and take that. And there's another ancient temple there. Herman, 92 left. Thermodosa is... Over on the east. Where is she going now? Going down south, I think, right? Not very many of you. No. We're taking her over here to meet up with Velasca. Okay, that's right. So Bonif Velasca. She has a couple units there. That's good. Two werebears. I love those. Herman, Kumlok, and Bone Eater. And then a few units stationed throughout the map. Okay, that's good. I think that's all I can do. Here is our attack. Should be fine. I mean, all those cav coming in with their lances. And also, uh, Mounted Chief cast Flame Burst. Wait a minute. Wand of Fire. That is good. How much damage was that again? So, Air Effect 1, Burst 1. But he can do that range. Yeah, I don't know how far they can go. Doesn't really say, but okay, that's good. Look at that. All the deer gone. Here are the bears. They're going to take a hit. We get all these attacks in. We might kill one. Yep, we did. We killed them all before they even did anything to us. So that's really useful. And we're now being attacked by independents. Oh, the dwarfs are coming in. They have, what, an axe here. Commander in the back. He does 1 to 8 damage. That's kind of dangerous. We could very well be in bad shape here. What do they do? Although they do a lot of damage, don't they? And even though they have armor, we could very well take them out in the first attack. There we go. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, that's one. 
Now we're going to do the normal, well, one to, one to four, I guess, in damage. I don't want to lose anybody if I can avoid it. Okay. Come around here. Okay. We didn't have to do anything there. Are we going to take him out? We might. There. Okay, we took him out. Great. Although we did get one with a chest wound. Okay. They don't have very many hit points. Only four or five there. Eight Onyx Amazons. I don't like them especially, so that's that's fine. We'll leave them alone. There's a gold mine, and we have Bonif down here. We're going to move him up, but before we do that, let's take Velasca here. We'll move her west, and then Thermadosa. Take the forest here and go down, and then we can team up there next time. Herman. Oh, yeah, Herman. I was thinking about buying more, shouldn't I? I missed that last turn. Let's go ahead and get a few more units here. We'll take the lances, I think. Herman, go ahead and pick them up. So now Herman has what? Seven lancers, so they can do good damage there on first charge, and then five cav. That's a pretty good set of units to running around and just taking on everything here. Two giant spiders. Should be able to take them. Uh, 31, venomous bite. Do we need to? Um, they can climb walls, can't they? Yeah. So if they attack the deserted port here where we have not too many units, a few there. We may want to recruit more, but let's go ahead and attack them here. We'll see if we make it. And there's Kumlok. There is a, a couple of boars there. Do we want to take them on? We could very well do that, but let's go down here first. We'll see what's here. So we have three movements left. I'm going to have um, my other ancestral chief ride down, maybe this way. What if we go down here? Gem deposit. Maybe I'll skip this one anyway. Don't really need to. There's a jungle, though. That gives us uh, a lot of uh, herbs there. We'll go down. we got to be a little bit careful. That takes two movement. And if I go now, he might have an army here. Um, I'm curious about that. Let's go in here and take this first. And we'll head on down next turn instead. Okay, Bone Eater, you can move. You have three left. You can go down here. Okay. Now, that leaves Bonif. Bonif, you have three. Takes one to go to the ancient temple. It is summer now, so I can get there before winter, I hope. Move up there. Yep, that's good. Bonita has one. Oh, one more. Okay, you have one more. Oh, yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting about that. He is, his movement there is, what is it? Floating. Yeah, one action point, except for mountains, which costs two. So that's pretty good. So we can go down now here. We'll take a chance. Ah, Lion Trap Village. Okay, good. In the turn, we're attacking in the plane. That's two spiders. They have a lot of hit points. And if they do hit, they get to uh, use their poison, I think. But this here, we can surround them and do a ton of damage. Can we kill them? Probably not. See their poison now? This guy here is poison. Ten hit points normally. Feeble-minded. Mm, okay. And then poison five. Which is it's going to be a lot of damage every turn, I think. We'll see if he dies, this guy here. One, two. Yep, he died. Because after the game, after the match there, or the attack, we, we take a few rounds of either losing points to poison or gaining it back if you're like a werebear. Autumn is here. Still no winter. That's good. One spirit guide for 82. Crystal Amazons, I like him for 50. Spirit guide. Now, where could we possibly recruit? Well, in a lot of places, but where can we recruit and actually use the units? Hmm. Although, wherever we get that spirit guide, we can take any units we get from that location and move move out. So let's press T here. There, we'll take them. Velasca, what do you have now? 24 swordsmen, so a full complement there. I think it's a full complement. Yep, that's good. And a second row, half full. And then archers in the back. And two mages here. Crystal Sorcerer level 1, Luck and Gust of Wind, and then Thermidosa. Oh, maybe Thermidosa should be in charge. She has a lot more hair. Stygian skin and stone skin. Yeah, we'll go for that. But okay, let's leave Velasca here in charge. Now, we have two left. I want to go down to the Ancient Forest and kind of push on down here. Maybe take Valkoria as well. We'll go down here, though, and take that. And there's Herman. Herman is in good shape. He lost one unit. 
could go up here for Tent Village, but that's perma winter over there, perma frost, so we always have to contend with that. Uh, I think I go down here first, though. Maybe if you're lucky, we'll find something here. Tundra, two solas. What do we take them on? Swamp. There's a swamp monster here. 51 hit points. Does probably a lot of poison. Oh, no. There's poison resistant. 1 to 7 damage. This is something we can definitely take on because we have so many units. We can surround him. Um, but he's going to do a little bit of damage there. 1 to 7. He's going to kill a few of our units. Although, when we're done, we can go back to the desert port and get more, maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, there's Kumlock. Should we go down the gem deposit and take that? We have three left. I didn't take the... Oh, did I not take the Ancient Temple? I guess I didn't do that. Let's go up and take that first, then, and then go... We'll take the boar, the three boars here. And then we'll go down and take the down deposit. Now, Bone Eater is here with two units, and we could swing by. Takes two movements, go down... Or three, actually. Take that Lion Tribe Village, and then head on over here. I'm, I'm kind of cautious here, because I don't want to run into something. Yeah. Because as they see me here, oh, it's not three movements, it's one. He is that good. we got to keep him alive here. That will cost me two if I do that. But it might be good because I don't think... Or I can go here and then up there instead. The High Priestess is not going to have these units, I don't think. So we're not going to have to contend with them. We'll go up here. Oh. <sighs> 139 units. What do we have? 109. Now, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Now, he can very well attack these. Probably will do that, too. So here's our secondary armor we have to fight off. What does he have? These scorpion beasts, 38. Now, the mage is going to make the difference for us, but I think we'll lose this guy now. Bonif, you're going to have to go down here. Maybe he will attack us instead, or attack Bonif instead. We'll go down. Does it matter where we go? I think I want to go this way. Three. I can't attack, unfortunately. It takes three to go in the mountains. So even if I lose this army, how are we doing, actually? Let's look. He has more night. Yeah, he keeps gaining, you know. I gotta beat him now. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes here. Uh, am I gonna recruit? I'm gonna recruit. I almost forgot. Don't we have something down here to recruit in? No, we don't. But I could recruit here at the outpost. Well, wait a minute, what do we have? Well, we have Onyx here, don't we? Eight Onyx Amazons. Okay, so if I recruit here, we take a Spirit Guide. I think we should. We have 218. 136 left, so we can still take the Crystal Amazons. If nothing else, they can guard the walls of this location. So now, there's our Spirit Guide. I'm going to let him take these units. Now, these Jade Amazons, aren't they slow? Yeah, they can only move two every turn. So maybe we... Or Onyx. We don't want to move... We don't want to take them, I don't think. We'll leave them here. I'll take the Crystal with me. But for now, let's stay in this location so they can fire from the wall. Which, by the way... How good are you? Curse and Call Spirit of the Western Wind. Air of Effect, Burst 9, Range 8, which is good. Blunt Damage 1 to 3. Takes a long time to throw it. But that's a good one. Okay, I like that. And what else do we get? We can get some swordsmen for 50. We have 86 left. Do I want to do that? I think I want to keep my money around. Because if somebody else comes in that I want to recruit, let's do that before we spend all our, our money. I'm going to leave Woodygee here. Or we, yeah, Woodygee. So what else do we do? That's it? Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. Who will he attack? I hope he attacks Bonif, but... Maybe not. We're attacking independence. The Solus. Okay. So 10 hit points. Pierce resistant. That is going to be a problem against our lance charge here. And, yeah, half damage, basically. But we still get that blow in here. So I think we can still take him out. Yeah, we did. Okay, good. But any more than two, we would have taken some damage here. Okay, three boars there. Okay, yeah, let's do it. What do you have, by the way? Oh, you have that sun helm. Good. Not that you need it here. Flame burst. Wait. 
He casts flame. Oh, wait a minute. No. Hmm. Okay. Well, good. He had flame burst there he could cast. Oh, they just left. So I didn't know that, that he has flame burst. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, so they're down here. 140 units. We can take Bone Eater if we wanted to and join up, but I don't think we need to. We can probably go on and... Now that I say that, if you look at what we have, if you look here, it's not a very strong front line. I want to have two rows here, don't I? Why? Well, because we need to give time for our mages in the back to work their magic, literally. And I don't know. What do we have here? Swordsman, you know what? There, we give it to you instead. Now, it's good, but it's not quite good enough. Or maybe I'm too cautious here. But if I go, I have to go up here and get up more, get more units. That would not be fun. He's a little bit cautious too, though. He has a lot of regular units, the heavy infantry, a lot of armor, and I think these here have armor. What do we have in the front? Oh, didn't look at this shed. Shed? Is that what it says? Yeah, shock resistance 100, banishable and flying. Storm magic level 2. He's going to do damage. But it's only one unit. And then oh, one in the back here too. Dark prayers level 2. And then we have a Fin Fag the Assassin. He gets to, I think, yeah, before the battle starts, he gets to attack, I think at random, and then he can do, uh, yeah, He'll get to take one shot at me there. I feel concerned about that. If I attack now, what's the other option? Well, keep an eye on him. Bring down some units here with swordsmen. And then we'll meet up. Maybe I'll do that. I'll go up here. There. And then we'll take Rudigi. Rudigi, you can recruit, I think, then. Let's get some swordsmen. And we'll take the ones you have here. Now, I don't... Should we get the uh, Onyx Amazons? They do have armor, so they can just stand there and take damage. I might take him as well. We'll leave this undefended, and then we'll move out. Only two movements, but still. And then meet up here, and then we'll take on them here. Now, in the meantime, we might be able to get him to come down here if we use Bone Eater, who is fast. There. One. Two. Three and four. And here's Velasca now. Now, let's just keep going down here. As soon as we can, get to the ancient forest. One there, and then two here. Yep. Now, wait a minute. Four Ruby Clockwork soldiers and four Hoburg soldiers, aren't they... Weren't they exterminated? Were they? Do they have another location? Or is it just that it keeps kind of producing them anyway? I don't know. I have 130 left. What can we recruit, by the way? Did we get anything? Crystal Amazon for 50. I might want to get that here. I should have done that over in the west, shouldn't I? Okay, we'll take it here, though. And Whittier can't move. Uh, Herman, should we give that a shot? On the swamp monster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of that charge. That's going to do... A decent amount of damage. If you look at them, what they do. 1 to 10 so on average 5. We're going to do a pretty big damage there. Although he can very well... Oh, no, he can't really kill us. I don't think he doesn't do enough damage. Will of the Wisp and a Crocodile here as well. Kumlock. A lot of units. We'll move down and see if we can take Dim Deposits now. There, and what is this? Ziggurat. Is that a temple? That's a temple. I'm taking a chance, I guess, going down here. Don't see any other army. We have 422, though, here. We could use that with one of our spirit guides. And we could actually, what we could do is, we could take one of them and get the heroes of the past or the of ancient times. If we see here, we'll activate them here. So if I take Bearmond. Bearmond here can do special power. And he can get Heroes of Old for 300. I may want to do that instead of waiting for this unit here. Okay. I guess I'll do that. Oh. Okay, next turn. We'll do it next turn. 
Here we go. Let's see what this swamp monster can do. He's very experienced, so... We are firing him there. And now, a big charge. But not enough. Although he will be now. Yep, we took him out. Having a lot of hit points, not enough. If you can surround them. One spirit guide, one jade priestess, and one eight jade amazons. Okay, good. Um, ancient temple. The high priestess uses that. I maybe more than I do, right? Because I think the, the temple will give you a greater chance of getting a priest, if I remember. So should we go ahead and take Bearman now? And um, I could attack here if I wanted to. No, let's use special power for Bearman and get the heroes of old. Okay, that's pretty good. That's kind of what I wanted actually. We still have 220 left. Next turn we can do it again if we wanted to. Now, uh, these units... Where are they at? Here. Okay. So if I um, get them back in line... Let's do that. Now we're going to have this many units here. Not enough, actually. We'll bring down Rudigi. There. And I don't think I need to move down Bonif. Oh, we'll move up Bonif here anyway. And then we can rearrange them in that case. Actually, we can put all of them under his command. So where do we have it? There. So Bonif is there. Velasca, yep, that's it. So Bonif now will have what? Well, it's hard to tell from here, right? Swordsman, Bowman, it's a lot of units. But it's going to look something like this. Two rows completely and a third row. Don't want any more than that, I don't think. This is good enough. Next turn, we'll attack down here. Yeah, let's do that. Or we'll move down there anyway. Ruby Clockwork Soldiers. Those are bad. Remember they have that um, Pierce Resistance. And what do I have? I have a hero. He's going to die. I have a feeling he'll die if he attacks now. Hmm. Barbarian Swordsmen are good. I do like them. We have a lot of them too. They will do damage because they're not using Pierce. They're using Slash. It's not a problem. Our archers in the back won't do much, but we have three of these here. Luck. Sticking skin and bone skin. Wait a minute. Um, Pierce. Protection. And stone skin. Armor one. Which is good. Bones of stone. Blunt as well. Yeah, I mean, we could. Slash damage, yeah. Project fire. One to, oh, that's the one. One to four damage there. We could definitely lose a few units here. But I don't want them to roam around either and take what I have. And I need to take this ancient, ancient forest here, I think. Let's give that a shot and see. We'll see how that goes. Herman, you are done. Will of the Wisp, how good is that? Mesmerized, that means you're going to enslave. They're going to be joining the Will of the Wisp. I don't know if I want to do that. We'll leave that alone. Let's go up here. Oh, it's in winter. Okay. Kumlock is down here. We can go down here and check it out. That's Kumlock. Okay, you have a lot of units. If I move up here, I kind of want to make sure I can see everything here. Yep, there's nothing there. Bone Eater, you can go anywhere you want. So if I go down one, two... Well, do I want to get him... Yeah, so here's what I'm thinking now. If you look at Kumlock... There is a chief here. Let the chief ride off. We'll take Kumlock and go with Bone Eater instead, and then they'll be pretty good. Because they can all move then together with just one movement there. There, something like that. And then Keto, if you take everybody. That's you here. Oh, uh, there. So now Keto is going to have all the units. Yep. And Kumlok, what do you have? One only. Okay. Well, in that case, let's take Kumlok. You have one movement left. We'll go down here. And then Bone Eater, you have four. So go up here and then down. Bone Eater, you're in charge. There. Now, they don't have any movements left, so we're going to leave them there. Keto, you have one movement left. I'll send you down this way. I think that's all I can do. Let's go ahead and see what happens down here. Ancient forest. Okay, yeah. I think we can make it. Oh, we have two werebears too. Oh my. Oh, do you see the damage there? That's terrible. 
but doing no damage. Mindless shield, um, three, yeah, that's terrible. Okay, we're coming up here. Let's attack. Oh, we might lose this. Wow, look at the damage they do. We gotta beat them down good here. Now, the hero can do a lot of damage here. <sighs> 1 to 11. Trake in there can do quite a bit. If he gets a good swing in, problem is they might kill him instead. 1 to 6. Ah, uh, no, he has 15 or oh, 13 hit points. You gotta take them out. Come on. Here we go. Okay, the hero is able to avoid it. That's good. And you know, even if they have pierce resistance, if we just keep firing, yeah, there you go. Enough. We're gonna do some damage. Come on, take him out. Yeah, we're gonna win. We're gonna win this, right? They're on fire, so they're taking damage. You can see a little floating two and one. Okay, mages are good. And our hero is fine too. We should be able to make this now without anybody important being lost. Yep. We made it. So those Hobergs, are they still going to come out and, you know, spawn there? I hope not. He's moving up there. Winter's here. Okay, so now we're in good spot there. Velasca took that. We have 284. Oh, Winter's. We didn't quite get 300. All right. Okay. Lost an eye. 10% mm, misses. Not too bad. We can handle that. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. We'll heal up a little bit here, and then we can clean up here maybe. Go down to Balcoria. We have a few units up here. What do we have? Nothing special coming in. 248 gold means we can recruit more if we wanted to. Now, we have 141 units. He has 140. So it would be a massive battle here if we attack. So we're going to... What do we do with Alaska? Probably attack the moose. Get them moved out of the way. And Keto, well, let's wait. Let's instead take Bone Eater. Go down here. He can kind of scout out for us a little bit. It'll cost one to get in there. We have one left. Let's uh, wait with that. There. And... Yeah, we'll go down there as well. And then in the north we have Herman. Herman, what are you up to? We have four movement points, but it's in the winter. It's going to be very expensive to walk around here at all. But I'm, I'm up here anyway. I might as well take it. I'm going to skip the tent village. It doesn't feel like I need to use that. Let's go up here. And that leaves us one. Okay, we have one movement left. Go down there. And Bone Eater has one. We'll go east as well. And there's Bon. If before we do anything, let's check out and see how things are going here. So here's the military strength. He is stronger than we are. But if we take 140 units, if we take them out, he's going to drop about this much again, I think, down to here. We will drop as well, so we'll be on equal footing, I think. What else are they up to? Citadels, not too much. Not too much at all. Only one left? If this is the starting point here with one, I ask two then, I think. And then here, we're making more gold than he is now, for sure. Iron... We're doing well there as well. Herbs, well, you can't compare, but doing well on that. And I think that's it there. So now, I guess we attack, right? But I'm out of time, guys, so I'll come back. I'll leave a cliffhanger here. We'll see how it goes. But well, we're going to attack there next time. Anything I need to do, let me know. Let me know. We have 284. We can't do much. We could maybe use a 50 herbs or so and, and spend that, but... Other than that, I don't know what else we can do. But don't forget, if you liked the video and want to see more, give it a like, and I'll come back next time. Bye, guys.